Welcome back to another video in the series of IGCSE Maths Curriculum. Now in this video guys, I'll be teaching you guys about the angles that are formed when a transversal line intersects two parallel lines. Now let's get to it guys. Alright, so let me take this as parallel line A, this as parallel line B, and this as the transversal line A. Alright guys, now as you can see here, the total amount of angles that are formed are 8 angles. Good job guys. Now let's go ahead and name these angles. So let me call this as angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, and this as angle 5, angle 6, angle 7 and angle 8 all right guys so the first type of angle that i'll be talking about is what we call the corresponding angles now angle 1 guys will always be corresponding to angle 5 angle 2 will be corresponding to angle 6 angle 3 will be corresponding to angle 7 and angle 4 will be corresponding to angle 8 all right guys and corresponding angles will always be equal all right guys so that is the first part of it the next one what we'll be talking about is what we call the vertically opposite angles now in vertically opposite angles guys they will also be equal now from the word opposite itself we are looking for the angles that are opposite such as angle one is vertically opposite to angle three all right guys and angle two is vertically opposite to angle four now, if we go to the bottom part of it, we see that angle 5 is vertically opposite to angle 7 and angle 6 is vertically opposite to angle 8. All right, guys. And vertically opposite angles will always be equal. Now, for the third and last part, guys, we are looking at the alternate angles. All right. Now, this may become a bit tricky, but bear with me. So the alternate angles that we are talking about guys so let's say we have angle one so angle one is alternate to angle seven and the reason is because we see that angle one is equal to angle five right guys so angle one is equal to angle five now we also see that angle five is vertically opposite to angle seven therefore angle one angle 5 and angle 7 are equal and that is how we will find the alternate angle so angle 1 will be alternate angle to angle 7 all right guys now let's go ahead and find the alternate angle for angle 2 so step number one guys what we're going to do is we are going to find the corresponding angle right so angle 2 is corresponding to angle 6 and then we are going to find the vertically opposite angle. So angle 6 is vertically opposite to angle 8, right guys? Therefore, angle 2 is alternate to angle 8. And they are, of course, equal. Now, the next one what we'll be talking about is what we call the alternate interior angles. All right, guys? So let's take a look at the same step. Click on pause. Try and solve it by yourself. Try and find the alternate angles for angle 3 and angle 4, guys. Come back and see if you got it correctly, all right? So for angle 3 and angle 4, step number 1, we are going to first find the corresponding, right? So the corresponding angle of angle 3 is equal to angle 7, right? And vertically opposite to angle 7 is angle 5. So angle 3 is the alternate interior angle of angle 5. All right. Now, finally, guys, let's go ahead and find the alternate angle for angle four. So first, we find a corresponding angle, right? So angle four is corresponding to angle eight. And then we find the vertically opposite angle. Angle eight is vertically opposite to angle six. Therefore, angle four is the alternate interior angle of angle six. All right, guys. And that is how angles are formed when a transversal line intersects two or more than two parallel lines. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it. And if you did, don't forget to hit on that like button and consider subscribing, guys, so you don't miss out on any future maths videos. Until next time, guys. Have a nice day.